have unwittingly and many times wittingly uh, been willingly the pawns of uh, those dem progressive Democrats who would, in fact, uh, progress their agenda through the church. The church was always the hub of the community. Control the black church, you can put control the black vote, control the black preacher, you control the black mindset. And what they don't tell their parishioners is that the masters, the Democrat masters, the progressive liberal masters, they don't want you to love God. They want you to love them. They don't want you to love that wife or that child. They want you to love them. And as you see in the policies, the, the planks in uh, the Democrat um, uh, policies in their conventions and so forth, uh, you see that these types of ideas that I'm sharing with you are absolutely true. They operate against the core values of the people who have uh, uh, differences with them. Well, you know, you judge a tree by its fruits. So you break this down in the film. What's happened to the black community since it adopted uh, the Margaret Singer uh, liberal, uh, trendy, uh, progressive stance. Whole communities have been pressed down since the time of Lyndon Johnson and since the time of the signing uh, of the civil rights bills. And uh, you have seen a, a decline, a steep decline in uh, the black uh, culture in this black society. Uh, the Negro Project that Margaret Sanger had uh, some 70 years ago now that she started, she actually started that through the black church, uh, where certain people were uh, called out and identified as undesirable. You see that even today uh, with black people. They, they don't realize that there is an elite uh, group of people who many black people in Hollywood are a part of. And they work against that uh, segment of society, black society in particular, to keep them and make them an underclass. We used to talk that type of thing. Sometimes you people look at you like you're crazy. But in the idea of the runaway slave, uh, that guy who ran away, he came back occasionally and he told those who were still in bondage, you can be free. But what would happen? Those people who were still on the plantation, they would run and tell their masters, oh, Bryant has come back and he's causing trouble among uh, those who are still here in this tyranny, in this uh, slavery. And what would happen? The master then would capture Bryant, or at least try to make a public example of him. And that same type of uh, attitude exists toward those of us who are black conservatives, those of us who are black Republicans, those of us who are preaching a message of freedom. That same type of method is used on us. They want to make us examples so that others who are still locked in that mindset won't dare try to escape it. Well, that's right, and, and I, I knew some of the history of this, but when I was on first on Access TV, going back 19 years ago, and was in East Austin, there was a lot of black preachers and folks um, that would uh, you know, use the facility as well, and black folks were probably, uh, you know, percentage-wise, some of my biggest viewers because you know, they liked the message of liberty I was putting out, and I was also putting out an anti-establishment message about government being oppressive, but then I would have the black leaders particularly in the parking lot or, or at the grocery store or in the hallways who had shows there, literally get in my face and say, don't be talking to black people. You know, that's basically our group. And then I would go out to abortion clinics or mainly in the black area and covered some demonstrations. And I would have them come over and literally get in my face and say, nobody wants all these black people. Nobody, and they would say actually racist things about black people. And I was like, what is this where black people, all the ones driving Mercedes, were putting down and hating the black community they were leading. And, and, I, and I've since run into other, quote, black liberal leaders. And you go out to dinner with them, they are racist. What you were doing and what I am doing and others like me around the country are doing, Alex, and the reason you meet with such venom is because you are breaking into their hustle. It is a hustle uh, to uh, race bait. It is a hustle to uh, keep a certain people victimized. 
And when you try and liberate them, what you are doing is trying to uh, help someone escape what I call a Stockholm Syndrome mentality. I agree. Stay it's there. I want to come back, sir. I want to come back with the Reverend Bryant, C.L. Bryant. This is powerful information. Uh, C.L. Bryant.net. We'll be right back. Did you know that gold and silver contain healing properties? It's true. Since the beginning of mankind's history, gold and silver have not only been used as real money, but also for healing our minds and bodies. Utopiasilver.com is your leading source for colloidal silver and colloidal gold supplement protocols that can heal and enhance your health. Call 888-213-4338 or visit utopiasilver.com for weekly discounts and sales. That's U-T-O-P-I-A silver.com. Fighting for liberty and healing one American at a time. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. American gardeners and fellow patriots, make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from mypatriotsupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from mypatriotsupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ships same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at mypatriotsupply.com choose the original choose the survival seed vault at mypatriotsupply.com ladies and gentlemen america is more dangerous than ever with nine million property crimes last year crimes are happening every day be proactive and protect your home and family simply safe home security system helps guard against criminals thugs and thieves Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Alex Jones here back live. Ladies and gentlemen, it's escalating. Russia has used electronic warfare systems over Crimea to down a U.S. predator drone, they're saying. This is in the French news agency. Russia says intercepted U.S. drone over Crimea arms group. I'll give you more details coming up in the next segment when we cover some other news before we go back to our guest. Uh, but they say the surveillance drone was down from 4,000 meters, 12,000 feet up. Virtually invisible from the ground, it was possible to break the link with U.S. operators with complex radio electronic technology. 
the drone fell almost intact in the hands of self-defense forces. This is just getting really out of control. It belonged to the 66th American Reconnaissance Brigade based in Bavaria. So it's escalating quickly, folks. Pray for peace is all I can say. Man, uh, we're talking to uh, Reverend C.L. Bryant. You can go to RevCLBryant.net to find his website. And I want to quantify this because when this used to happen the first time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, the tenth time, it's now been caught on tape with Asian and black abortionists. And I'm just saying that because you remember the videos where people come and say, we like to adopt the babies, the black babies you're aborting. And they say, nobody wants the nappy haired, ugly black babies. I heard those exact quotes over and over again by people that drove new Mercedes that, ever, that, that the black folks would come up to groveling like they were kings. And I always heard anybody that wasn't a, basically a socialist or anti-gun or whatever was an Uncle Tom or any conservative or libertarian blacks. But the truth is, behind the scenes, these, these black leaders, a lot of them, literally were like Klan members or something. They would talk horrible about black people and say, we need to get rid of these black people. And we had a, quote, black leader here for a film. I never ended up putting in the film. It was so shocking. I went to dinner with Rob Dew with him. Rob Dew heard this stuff. The guy basically later admitted he was a communist, said we're in, we need to keep abortion going. There's too many black people. This is a black guy. So this goes back to Margaret Sanger, 70 years, who said we got to hire blacks to get rid of these weeds, close quote. And man, I'm telling you, it's so over the top that uh, the average person just can't believe it. But you were in the middle of it. C.L. Bryant, uh, when I talked to Reverend Childress of the Black Genocide Project, he says he's heard exactly what I'm saying. Have you heard exactly what I just said before? Oh, of course. Uh, growing up in uh, the segregated South, you see, Al Alex, I remember uh, black and white water fountains. I remember riding on the back. I've written on the back of the bus. Uh, I was four years old when Dr. King in 1959 spoke at my home church, um, uh, Galilee Baptist Church. Uh, there was an idea that came out of the black community, actually out of the black church, that black people need to be controlled. Uh, and uh, also they need leaders. Uh, and, and today you will understand this, that uh, black people are the only group of people that if somebody comes into the neighborhood or if they talk nationally on behalf of black people, they'll want to talk to the so-called black leaders. My question always is, why is it that black folks have to be led around? Uh, where are the Irish leaders? Where are the Italian leaders? Uh, where are those folks? But, but every time when you talk about black folks, even uh, from people in the community, they talk about where are our leaders? You'll hear that. What happened to our leaders? Heck, I know what's in my pocketbook. I know what my mortgage is. I know what my children need. I know what I need in order to uh, get by and, and make it in this country. I don't need anybody to lead me anywhere. Only thing I need is for uh, big government to get out of my way and I'll get my own. My grandparents, my great grandfather, former slave, my grandfather and my father, they were all very independent men. And they were men who did not have affirmative action. They had the sweat of their brow. And they taught me, uh, my grandfather in particular said to me, uh, son, I didn't go through all that I went through so that you could be black. I went through all that I went through so you could be free. And he was talking to me about having the same things that everybody else has, regardless of color in this country. And so, yes, there has been that attitude in the black community, and it has become a part of the mental fiber of too many uh, black folks that they need to be led out of a situation. I was about to say, these new black leaders, they are like the new slave master. They are. And, and the idea was, back in slavery time, was to drive the slave out into the field so he could get his cotton, his master could get his cotton picked. Now, the new overseer, his job is to make sure that that same slave gets to the voting booths every two years so they get their votes picked. And so that's where we are uh, in this country as far as the mentality is concerned. And believe me, black folks were the test case. This particular uh, feeling of entitlement and being used by the master is beginning to grow all through this country. Oh, they admit it's beta tested for everybody. 
Absolutely. And they want that. They need that to happen. Obamacare is not just some type of health care idea. Obamacare is a mechanism to further enslave. Reverend, explain that to us. Long segment coming up. I'm going to let you preach and have the floor when we come back. Big segment coming up with the Reverend. I'm Alex Jones, InfoWars.com.